Welcome to TechCloud Solution. In this video, we'll walk through real AZ-104 exam questions to help you pass the Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. If you're aiming for a high-paying cloud computing job in 2025, this is the best place to start. Check out the playlist for complete series. Don't forget to grab your free AZ-104 PDF dumps and full practice test. Links in the description. You are setting up alerts for your Azure resources. You want to receive notifications via email and SMS when certain performance thresholds are exceeded. How can you configure these alert notifications in Azure Monitor? The options are A, Azure Service Health, B, Azure Logic Apps, C, Azure Monitor Action Groups, D, Azure Functions. Correct answer is Azure Monitor Action Groups. Azure Monitor Action Groups are the most direct and efficient way to configure multiple notification channels for alerts. You have an Azure subscription. You create the Azure Storage account shown in the following exhibit. Please select the answer choice that completes the following statement based on the information presented in the graphic. To reduce the cost of infrequently accessed data in the storage account, you must modify the setting. The options are A. Access Tier, Default B. Performance, C. Account Kind, D. Replication Correct answer is A. Access Tier, Default Azure Storage offers different access tiers, allowing you to store blob object data in the most cost-effective manner. Currently, there are three access tiers available, as follows. Hot, optimized for storing data that is accessed frequently. Cool, optimized for storing data that is infrequently accessed and stored for at least 30 days. Archive, optimized for storing data that is rarely accessed and stored for at least 180 days with flexible latency requirements. As the question refers to infrequently accessed data, you would need to modify the current access tier, hot, to the cool access tier. Your company is deploying a new Windows Server Virtual Machine, VM, in Azure to host a critical business application. Security is a top priority, and you need to ensure that the VM is always up to date with the latest security patches and updates to protect it from vulnerabilities and cyber threats. Manually applying updates to each VM would be time consuming and prone to errors especially as your Azure environment grows. You're looking for an automated solution that can streamline the update process, consistently maintain the VM's security posture, and provide reporting on compliance status. Question, which Azure feature can you leverage to automate the installation of security updates and patches on the Windows Server VM, ensuring its security posture is consistently maintained and providing you with visibility into its compliance status? The options are A, Azure Update Management B, Azure Backup C, Azure Advisor D, Azure Security Center. Correct answer is Azure Update Management. Explanation, Azure Update Management. This feature allows centralized management of updates and patches for Azure VMs, both Windows and Linux. It enables scheduling of automatic updates, defining maintenance windows, and provides detailed reporting on the update compliance status of your VMs. Why other options are not suitable, Azure Backup focuses on backing up and restoring data. It does not manage software updates or patches. Azure Security Center helps identify vulnerabilities and provides security recommendations, but does not automate patch deployment. Azure Advisor offers recommendations for optimizing your Azure resources, but does not manage or automate software updates. Key point, Azure Update Management automates patching, helping maintain a secure, compliant Azure environment with visibility into update compliance. You are developing a web application that requires background processing tasks to be executed periodically. Which Azure App Service feature can you use to schedule and manage these background tasks? The options are A, Scheduler, B, Logic App, C, Azure Functions, D, Web Jobs. Correct answer is Web Jobs. Web Jobs in Azure App Service provide a straightforward way to run background processing tasks. These can be scheduled to run periodically, making them suitable for tasks like sending emails, processing queues, or other background activities. Your company is experiencing intermittent connectivity issues between Azure Virtual Machines, VMs, in different subnets within the same virtual network, VNet. You suspect that a network security group, NSG, rule might be blocking traffic. You need to quickly diagnose the problem to minimize downtime. Which Azure Network Watcher feature should you use to troubleshoot this issue? The options are A. VPN Diagnostics, B, IP Flow Verify, C, Packet Capture, D, Connection Monitor. Correct answer is 
IP Flow Verify. IP Flow Verify. This feature allows you to specify a source and destination IP address, port, and protocol, and then verifies if a connection would be allowed or denied by the NSGs associated with the network interfaces. This is ideal for the scenario where you suspect an NSG rule might be blocking traffic, why other options are incorrect. Connection Monitor. This feature is used to monitor network connectivity between two endpoints over time. While it can provide insights into connectivity issues, it's not the most direct way to diagnose an NSG rule problem. Packet Capture. This feature captures network traffic and can be useful for in-depth analysis, but it's not the quickest way to determine if an NSG rule is blocking traffic. VPN Diagnostics. This feature is designed to troubleshoot issues with VPN connections, which is not relevant to the current scenario. Key steps for using IP Flow Verify. 1. Go to the Network Watcher blade in the Azure portal. 2. Select IP Flow Verify from the Tools menu. Specify the source and destination IP addresses, port, protocol, and direction. 4. Select the network interface of the VM where the connection originates. 5. Click Check to verify if the connection will be allowed or denied. 6. The results will indicate if the connection is allowed or denied by any NSGs in the path. You are tasked with implementing a network security solution to protect your Azure VNets from common web attacks like SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Which Azure service is designed for this purpose? The options are A, Azure DDoS Protection, B, Azure Bastion Host, C, Azure Web Application Firewall, WAF, Azure Firewall. Correct answer is Azure Web Application Firewall. Azure Web Application Firewall, WAF, is a specialized security service that protects web applications from various threats, including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and other common vulnerabilities. You are troubleshooting a network connectivity issue between two Azure VMs and different VNets. You have verified that the VMs have the correct IP addresses and subnet configurations. Which Azure tool can you use to visualize the network topology and trace the traffic flow between the VMs? The options are A. Azure Advisor B. Azure Network Watcher C. Azure Monitor D. Azure Security Center Correct answer is Azure Network Watcher. Azure Network Watcher is the primary toolset for diagnosing and troubleshooting network issues in Azure. It provides various capabilities like Connection Monitor, which can visualize the network topology and trace the path of network traffic between VMs. Your company's e-commerce website is hosted on Azure App Services. You need to track the website's performance metrics, such as response time, HTTP errors, and requests per second. Which Azure service is best suited for collecting and analyzing this data? The options are a. Azure Network Watcher, B. Azure Log Analytics, C. Azure Application Insights, D. Azure Monitor. Correct answer is Azure Application Insights. Azure Application Insights is the most suitable service for monitoring Azure App Services due to its seamless integration and specific focus on application performance metrics. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1. In Subscription 1, you create an alert rule named Alert 1. The Alert 1 action group is configured to send SMS messages to all users part of the admins group. Alert 1 alert criteria is triggered every minute. The number of SMS messages that Alert 1 will send in an hour is... The options are A0, B4, 6. 12 correct answer is 12. Because Alert 1 alert criteria is triggered every minute, this results in potentially one SMS sent every minute, so 60 SMS in an hour. Please note that rate limiting is implemented by Azure, which means that there is a maximum limit of notifications to be sent in a particular time interval. The rate limit thresholds are SMS, no more than one SMS every five minutes. Voice, no more than one voice call every five minutes. Email, no more than 100 emails in an hour. As the SMS limit is one SMS every five minutes, then the correct answer for this question is 12 SMS messages in an hour. Your company, a financial institution, stores large volumes of sensitive customer data in Azure Blob Storage. To optimize costs and comply with data retention policies, you need to automate the lifecycle management of this data. Specifically, you need to transition older data to cooler storage tiers based on last access time, permanently delete sensitive customer data after a specified retention period, preserve the ability to recover accidentally deleted data for a limited time, Question. Which Azure features or tools should you use to implement this automated data lifecycle management process? The options are A. Azure Information Protection, Azure Security Center, and Azure Policy.
B, Azure Blob Storage Access Tiers, Azure Blob Versioning, and Azure Resource Manager Templates. C, Azure Blob Storage Lifecycle Management Policies, Azure Blob Soft Delete, and Azure Monitor D. Azure Blob Inventory, Azure Event Grid, and Azure Data Factory. Correct answer is C. Azure Blob Storage Lifecycle Management Policies. These policies allow you to create rules to automatically transition blobs to cooler storage tiers, cool archive, based on criteria like last access time. You can also define rules to permanently delete blobs after a specified period, aligning with your data retention policies. Azure Blob Soft Delete. This feature enables you to recover blobs that have been accidentally deleted within a retention period you configure. It provides a safety net for data recovery in case of unintended deletions. Azure Monitor allows you to track and analyze the, the effectiveness of your lifecycle management policies. You can create alerts to notify you of any issues or unexpected behavior, ensuring your policies are working as intended. Why other options are not suitable? While Azure Blob Inventory provides insights into storage usage, it doesn't automate lifecycle management. Azure Event Grid can trigger actions, but it needs to be coupled with other tools to define the lifecycle rules. Azure Data Factory is used for orchestrating data movement and transformation, but it's not the primary tool for lifecycle management within Azure Storage. Access tiers are part of the lifecycle management strategy, but they need to be combined with lifecycle management policies to be automated. Versioning is useful for maintaining historical versions of blobs, but it doesn't directly address automatic deletion or transition to cooler tiers. These tools focus on data security and compliance, not on the automated movement or deletion of data based on lifecycle criteria.